Michael Murphy here from PiratesAhoy.net. Today I'm covering the simple helm control that I built in the last couple of nights to really test the ocean system and how it works. Uh, let me set the daylight a little bit better here. All right, so the helm control is actually pretty straightforward. It allows you to turn the wheel uh, port and starboard and each one of the degrees on the wheel correlates to a degree of rotation on the axes for the tiller or rudder. Depending on how your rudder is set up, you can actually have the tiller affect the rudder in different varying angles as well, just in case it's like a geared system. So you can turn the rudder up here at 60, 60 degrees to get one degree of tiller, and then one degree of tiller downstairs can then respond to, let's say, half degree of rudder on itself. So that's all very customizable. You can also set a minimum, or, or I should say maximum, of both directions for the angles. So if you want to go to a full rudder position, the wheel up here is just giving a rudder request and tells it that I would like to turn. The rudder responds with yes, you can or cannot. So right now, this is our maximum turning for starboard rudder. So everything is very customizable. You can set the angles independently for everything, even including the left and right um, maximums. So if your rudder has an offset, and then the tiller could have 20 degrees turn on one direction, but have only 15 on the other, which that way allows you to have some very interesting vessel design systems. So anyway, the models actually respond in kind. So the way we set this up is that if you assign a model to the wheel and assign a model to the um, tiller and rudder, then they will respond exactly as you have requested. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring the boat to a stop here. Right now I'm just applying force to the vessel to send it to go forward or reverse uh, as you request. Later on that will be replaced with the wind to sails to masts and all that. Uh, but for now we're just kind of um, getting the helm control figured out. The helm control responds to the vessel speed through the water so it has no relation, doesn't care how much force is being applied. It just cares how fast the boat is moving and then uses that to determine the rotational force that it's applying. So here's our tiller right there. You can see that it's slightly off from center. Um, that just tells you that I didn't exactly go rudder right amidship. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the deck, uh, run the wheel hard over, and uh, whoop, I can get up the stairs here. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to grab it, and we'll go to a uh, hard over position. Okay, so we are now at a full port rudder. And as we go downstairs, you can see that the tiller has responded to the rudder request. So the vessel knows where the tiller is at, and that's what it's using for its turning rate. It doesn't care what the requested rudder position was. It doesn't care about any of that. So if you actually lose the wheel, if the wheel gets damaged or the tiller gets damaged and the rudder is stuck at a certain position, then that is your rudder, and that's what applies as far as the force is concerned. But anyway, it's kind of a basic control system. Uh, we'll cover a little more in depth on it probably later on. But hopefully this will be in the next internal build and you guys can test it out uh, and see how well you do by upping the seas and see how well you can keep it um, keep the seas in your quarter because it will push your boat around. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to go to piratesahoy.net to volunteer your time and to go to heartsofoakgame.com to stay up to date. Thanks. <laughs>